Hello, this is Teacher Riza. This is our second topic for quarter two, which is simple interest and compound interest. We're in for this time. We're going to distinguish between simple and compound interest. Let us review what is simple interest from our previous lesson. It is an interest that is computed on principal and then added to it. While compound interest is the interest computed on principal and also on the accumulated past interest. And the formula in finding for simple interest is I sub S is equal to PRT, where I sub S is simple interest and P is the principal and R is the rate. T is time or term in years. For maturity or future value of simple interest, we have F is equal to P plus I sub S, where F is the maturity or future value, and P is the principal, and I sub S is the simple interest. For compound interest, we have I sub C is equal to F minus P, wherein I sub C is compound interest, F is the maturity of future value, and P is the principal. And to find for the maturity or future value of compound interest, we have F is equal to P times quantity 1 plus R raised to T, where P is the principal or the present value, F is the maturity or future value, and R is the interest rate, and T is the term or time in years. Let's try to solve this problem. How many interests would Maria pay to her loan amounting to 20000 for 3 years at 6% per year at simple interest? So given principal is 20000 pesos, rate is 6% or 0.6, Time is 3 years. So I sub S is equal to PRT to find for simple interest, wherein I sub S is equal to principal is 20,000, rate is 0 0.06, and time is 3. Multiplying 20,000 times 0 0.06 times 3 is equal to 3,600 pesos. So therefore, the interest of her loan at the end of 3 years is 3,600 pesos. For the future value, we have F is equal to P plus I sub S, wherein the principal is 20,000 pesos and the interest is 3,600. Adding these two, we have 23,600. So therefore, the future value is 23,600 pesos. Now, let's try to find the future value and the amount of interest if 20000 was loaned for a period of 3 years with interest of 6% compounded annually. So, given we have principal still is 20000 pesos, rate is 6% or 0 0.06, time is 3 years. So, what we're going to find is for the future value. That is using F is equal to P times 1 plus R raised to T. Wherein, the principal is 20,000 plus 1 plus R is 0 0.6 raised to T is 3. And 1 plus 0 0.06 is 1.06. And 1.06 raised to third power is equal to 1.191016. Multiplied to 20,000, so we have... 23,820 pesos and 32 centavos. So this is the future value if it is compounded. Then, to find for the compound interest that is equal to future value less principal, wherein the future value is 23,820 pesos and 32 centavos and principal is 20,000. Subtracting, so we have now 3,820 32. So therefore, this is the compounded interest. Next, a bank offers 0.25% annual simple interest rate for a particular deposit. 
How much interest will be earned if 1 million pesos is deposited in this savings account for two years? So given principal is 1 million pesos, rate is 0.25%, changing this into decimal, decimal is 0 0.0025, and T is two years. So what we're going to find is the simple interest. So we have I sub S is equal to PRT, wherein the principal is 1 million pesos times rate 0 0.0025, times 2, that is equal to 5,000 pesos. So therefore, the interest earned of 1 million after 2 years is 5,000 pesos. And for the future value, F is equal to P plus I sub S, wherein the principal is 1 million and the interest is 5,000. Adding these two, we have 1 million 5,000 pesos. Next, we're going to find the maturity value and the compound interest if 10,000 is compounded annually at an interest rate of 2% in 5 years. So given we have principal is 10,000, rate is 2% or that is 0 0.02, then T is 5 years. So what we're going to find is the maturity value and the compound interest. So we have future value is equal to P times the quantity of 1 plus R raised to T, wherein the principal is 10,000, rate is 0 0.02, and T is 5. And 1.02 raised to 5 is equal to 1.1041. Multiplied to 10,000, that is now equal to 11,040 pesos and 0 0.081 centavos. And for the compound interest, subtracting the future value and principal. So we have now the future value is 11,040.081 less principal 10,000, which is equal to 1,040 pesos and 81 centavos. And for your activity, that is check my understanding. You're going to read and analyze the given problem, then check if it is simple or check if it is compound interest that is from number one to five and for activity two how well do you know me so from the given problems in activity one you're going to answer the questions below that is what is the principal rate interest and time for number two the same you're going to find the rate principal interest and time and same with number three, find for interest, principal, rate, and time. And for activity three, that is the performance task. You're going to complete the table using the simple and compound interest. That is for number one, find the future value of 15,000 at 8 percent compounded annually for three years. So you're going to complete the table. Then same with number two, that is, find the maturity value of 15,000 at 8% per year at a simple interest for 3 years. And that's all of the computation. And for your reflection, you're going to answer this in a separate sheet of paper. In your own understanding, how can you distinguish between simple and compound interest? And that's all for week one of quarter two. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.